Welcome back. In the previous section, we just saw how you could upload your validation split of the data set to get these fancy tables where you could just interactive, you can compare all of the model predictions in an interactive fashion. You could focus on any specific part of the data that you want to see how your model performs, or you could also run your own custom queries and filter out the section of the data that you want to uh, work with. Now you can watch that section, link is in description. Uh, it's not really needed for this section, but it'd be helpful if you already know where I'm coming from. But yeah, in this section, what we'll see is how you can make your runs resumable across devices, which means basically device independent training. So you can start your run on one particular system and resume it on another without any hassle. It will allow you to sort of make use of the spot instances, which are much cheaper so that if, if it goes uh, out of scope, you can just uh, you know, spin up another system and you could just uh, run resume your run from that from there, right? So for example, uh, just to set, set things uh, in, in perspective, uh, here's my run that I've crashed uh, after second debug. Save, I've saved the model on second debug, and don't worry about this, we'll see how to do that. And now what if I want to resume it on another device, that another device being here, this collab. So what I have to do is if I've saved uh, enough stuff, I could just pass in this this particular command in the resume flag, which is want to be artifact, will tell that you we want to resume a run from the WNB artifact. And then you just have to copy this run path from that run. And you just run this after installing WNB. And if you've done things right, it will just resume from where we left off. Now I'll just have to log in. And so this is one of the coolest part. So I had a lot of fun building this feature. So it will first see if there is the latest artifact present. Now, the artifact can be the model artifact, the checkpoint, right? So here, in this case, we have the epoch second. So it will download that. And then it will download the data set if it's present, right? So we have also the data set train and val split. We'll see how to do that. We have already seen some in the previous video, but that's it. Now, I will download both the things. So we didn't have anything locally, right? So it didn't download the data set. We, it just downloaded the artifact, the data set and the latest version of the model, and then it will do some stuff and it will start training from where we left off. So it should train from the second epoch right here. Okay, now we have just, we've resumed the training on another device essentially, right? Okay, now let's see, let's, let's keep it running because now what we'll do is we'll just take it a step further and we'll stop it at some point and then start and resume it again in our local system, right? Just, just to test this. Um, so what is the next step? Like how you can do this uh, in your own runs? I'll show you the command, it's pretty simple. So if you want to read in, in more depth, in the official YOLO v5 repository, if you go here, you'll get this WNB section. I have written this up. All of these features are explained in detail and I'm covering this advanced usage where you can resume your runs from dataset artifact and checkpoint artifacts. You can also uh, resume from only checkpoint artifacts that won't be device independent because you need to have data, but the syntax is pretty much the same. You can read all of these things to get more uh, in-depth understanding, but I'll show you what I've done here. I have given this a project and I have set save period one. Now what does this save period one does? So save period one will basically tell you that I want to save uh, the, the checkpoint after every epoch. So one is just the interval, right? That is save period. So after every epoch, it will just save the checkpoint so that we don't lose it. Now you can do, you can save it after two epochs or three epochs, that's your choice. And now upload data will upload both the train and val split. Once we have both train and val split, we can resume this on any device, right? If we just have the checkpoints, we can resume this using checkpoint artifact, but it will need the data still. But if we also upload the data, we don't, we, like if we have everything that we need. Now, in the previous video, if you watched, we just passed this val because we just needed the val split. But if we want to make this run this device independent, we need both, right? So this is the basic syntax. And then you have everything you need to resume a run on any device. Now, let's, let's see um, how many epochs have been completed. So now we have six epochs. Let me just show you another demo live where we have just stopped this and we'll wait for it to sync a little bit and let me just reload this and see what is the latest uh, checkpoint artifact that we've got. Okay, we have version five and it's synced, right? So let me just show you how it's done. So I want to resume this particular run, which is honest field. 
So you see the logs are like this after six epoch. I will just go here, I will copy this. I will say, okay, I already have this, but just to be sure, I'll just copy this again. And so we have, we had this run running on a collab, but now we'll, we'll resume it here. So it will search for the latest version of the, the checkpoint. So it resumes the same run basically. So it will first download the checkpoint and you can see all of this uh, in here in artifacts section. It will first download that model, uh, model v5 and the data, and it will resume from the sixth epoch. Now my terminal is broken because I've just, you know, maximized and minimized it multiple times. It just happens with it, but you, you get the idea. It will, will just start uh, to run, resume from, from that particular uh, epoch. Let me just quit this because I don't want to, to use my GPU. Ah, oh, it's not ideal now. Yeah, so this was this was this particular feature where you can resume runs across devices, and I just wanted to cover that. Now again, if you want to know more about these features, what else you can do? This is just one way. There's, there's another way where you can start training from directly from the artifact data set. You don't even need local data set. You can just down, start training from the artifacts, and that is also pretty cool. That What that does is that will also make your runs independent of the device. And all of this is visible here, and I have written some reports which I can link later on. But if you just want to uh, know more about this, you can visit Yolo V5 official repository and it's all it's all in here. Uh, I had a lot of fun building this I, and I hope that you enjoy working with this. Feel free to open any issues if you face them. Uh, and yeah, this was, this was Yolo V5 resume your runs across any devices, device independent runs or fault tolerant runs, no matter how, how you want to call it. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. See you next time with some awesome stuff.